Policing a nation is a cumbersome job for security operatives, but it is a job that must be done effectively. Hello and welcome to yet another edition of your number one security program, Crime Watch, where we bring you latest security happenings in the country. On our lineup this week, I'm not the one that killed Marco. Okay. I don't, I don't know who killed Marco. Actually, there is an issue between the accused person named Sunday at Marco. A court gang responsible for the death of a student arrested in Oyo. Kwara government accuses police of blackmail in Ofa robbery. I'm your host, Ivy Kano. The police in Oyo state said they have apprehended a court gang that they presume might have a hand in the gruesome murder of Ahmed Olaleko, an ex-student of the Polytechnic Ibadan on the 27th of August this year. Now I'm briefing newsmen in Ibadan during a parade of about 24 suspected criminals, Commission of Police reiterated the commitment of the police to protecting lives and property. Correspondent Femosco has more. Despite lean resources, the police continue to strive to rid the society of crime. But desperation for wealth remains on the increase. These are suspected criminals who the police say would soon face the full rot of the law. This five man gang had conspired to kidnap a victim, Sunday Aladeni, in his poultry farm at Onigambari village. Having collected ransom, they still went ahead to kill the victim. for donkey years, Adebisi Kayode, a 34-year-old man, had been impersonating as an anti-robbery operative. He was arrested by the anti-kidnapping squad. The suspects had fraudulently obtained more than 2 million naira. Because uh, one day one of my friends uh, is uh, Corporal Sunday, so he drink that day, and uh, the day he you never know, drive again, and I call him friend, and uh, mechanic to go up and carry the car. So that very day, I carry him up over the Koboko, that very day. So since then, I take, I take the handcuff to collect some money from my account. That your friend are police? That my friend is policeman. But you can't tell people say you be officer. I'm a police person. For how long now? Uh, since May. May this year. This year? Yes, sir. So you can't take and collect money everywhere? Yes, sir. So like how much have you collected? It's one is a 1.2 something. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Million? Yes, sir. Is your wife aware of all these things? No, it's not even anything about this. Why are you not tell her? I just, at that time, working with him, saying that I'm doing a max data by the time I meet. So, even believe, say, I'm still working there. But that time, I even tell him, say, I don't, that work, no, if will continue again. So, I don't get another work to policeman. But you lied to him before saying, nah, DSS, you know? Yes. Why? No, after I come up for MTN Max, because I worked in there before. 
to MT, to MT for Porta Court, that's uh, block four, uh, Electronics Road, uh, Porta Court. We are working there before. So, me and him meet for that time. Before I come tell and say, you can't ask me, say, why I don't go to Porta Court again? I come tell and say, the work no even function again. Say, they don't they pull another logic. Uchechuku Nwaba had absconded with his Chinese employer's car and goods. He was snapped weeks after. The runaway suspect says he had gone to attend to some pressing family issues. But the cops say they have in their net the criminal receiver and say the goods are intact. This he carry rob our car and it's a lesson since he had run away. He ran away. <laughs> thank you for police. Thank you for Nigeria police. Have us looking for more back. I'm very thank you so much. Very appreciate. Oh, your state police command. Uh, oh, your police station. Oh, your police command. Uh, oh, your police so command. So we give you your car back and um, all the items that has been that has been. Okay, where is the driver? Is it this one or that one? That one. That one. Okay, now you. This is the receiver. Okay, you are the receiver. I yeah. was. Uh, I uh, that's a. Uh, I work with a Chinese guy. That's uh, the company name is uh, Lesu. So I work with him as a driver, manager, sales rep, and a PA. So I was the one that used this vehicle to supply uh, customers. Uh, so, but this last one was that uh, after supplying the customer, I was to go to places, Aton and Ijoko. So, but that day it was ready, so I only supplied the uh, Ijoko and left with the vehicle. Because although at times I stayed with the vehicle, we two ways before going back. So, but in the, and I always send him text that I'm coming, which I did on this one. So it was on the third day I sent him text that okay, I'm coming back with the vehicle and the cash. But on getting to he saying sorry, on getting to saying I was stranded. That is, so that was the whole thing. Fine, the case is that I stole the vehicle and for this I sold it, I've not returned the money. The money I collected for from the customer, I used for something else. How much is it? That's a one ninety. One ninety four. Where were you arrested? I say saying I've said it. One ninety four what? Thousand. Have you traveled outside this country before? Yes. To where? Spain. Madrid. Were you deported? Yes, um, the visa I got there was just for three months. This gang had been fingered to have gruesomely murdered an ex-student of the Polytechnic Ibadan, Ahmed Olaleko, on the 27th of August 2018. The police say members of his group are affiliated to the new Black Fraternity of Nigeria, popularly known as the Black Axe. Where are you from? The number one Aye confraternity yeah. officer, Fatai Akiola, gives us more insight. Just normal, if they call me, uh, maybe they have matters within themselves that are uh, treat you this or that, then I call, uh, please, you guys should just let peace reign or something. So but you do have weapons, right? I don't have personal weapons. But your group, group have yeah, weapons? They do. Who, who keeps? The arms. The arms. The arms. Is what are the sessions you have in your group? As in, I don't understand. I don't get the sessions. Various offices, sessions okay. you hold. We have we number have, we one. We have, we have number one. Then we have number two is over there. Then number three. Then, then we have um, um, we have um, councils of elders. So then we have PRO also. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Yeah. You said? It's marked. Yeah, that was the number TV. Okay. Is it here? Yeah. No, it's not here. Who do you call butchers? Butchers, uh, they are just a member of, they, are, they, they work with the, ch and the number TV man. Tell them the specific What's the role of, the, of the, the butchers? Tell them. Butchers support the, they support the number TV man. They support what the, is the work of work? number Tell three. Them the specific work butchers do. It's like butchers, they also support the number TV to fight. They are the to oppressor. To fight the oppressor. Fight, fight with fight what? They fight if an issue come up came up, they help the number TV to fight. Maybe if there is a fight between the 
our our own part and the other part. They help the hitman to fight. Commissioner of Police in Oyo State, Abiodun Odude, says the police under his watch would not rest on his laurels in reading Oyo State of Crime. Thank God, um, the primary elections in all the parties in the state was held amid site security and overwhelming success was recorded. You will recall that some people had expressed fears and pessimism about safety of life and property during this political period. We had assured the public then that the command had and still has professional competence to ensure peace and safety, not only during the political activities, but at all times. We have demonstrated this time and time again. We have always been assertive of our ability to provide robust security that will allay the fears of the people. And this was again reinforced through the gubernatorial, senatorial, as of reps, and state as of assembly primaries held by various political parties amidst adequate security provided across the state. All the suspects are presumed innocent until a court of competent jurisdiction proves otherwise. Still in Kwara State, the government has accused the police of cheap blackmail over the delay in the arraignment of the offer robbery suspects. This proof of evidence entails the statement of witnesses. And statement of witnesses in this sense, we are talking of the people that investigated offer robbery. We don't have all this with us. You don't have the suspect on ground. You don't have a witnesses on ground. How do you file a charge? How do you prosecute people you cannot even see? So I see this as a cheap blackmail. It's a cheap blackmail from the police. And at this instance, I think they have something to hide. We are yet to tell Nigerians about this case. Now on away from Kwara State, in Ondo State, the police have arrested two suspects who they alleged kidnapped a former council boss, Dele Fagoriola, in his farm in Iju, Akure North local government area. He was kidnapped by a known government at his farm. The man regained freedom after two nights with the kidnappers. But as you know, every day for the thief, one day for the owner. On 14th of October, the highly coordinated intelligence networking led to the arrest of two kidnapped uh, suspects, Jero Umoru and Ali Umoru. Shaye Shegun of Okitupupa on those states was equally kidnapped. He regained his freedom on 30th of November. On 5th January this year, he received text messages from his abductors claiming that they were responsible for his kidnap and that they are coming back to kidnap him again. On receipt of this complaint, detectives sung into action and through intelligence gathering, arrested one Ibigun Adetiga and Prophet Godwin Ayinuga, the founder of a church in Ibokoda. The they were seven in number. So and I can identify seven of them. So this is just two of them. I saw them. And uh, incidentally, they were emerging from the farm the same day also. I started at 7 a.m. on Sunday. They were coming from, I was going to the farm, they were coming from the farm. Back here in Lagos, the anti-fraud unit of the Force Criminal Investigations and Intelligence Department at Labon Close Lagos say they are closing in on a syndicate of international fraud stars that specializes in fleecing depositors of millions of dollars at banks across the world at a hideout in Lagos.
Addressing newsmen on these developments, the CP Dan Okoro said the group targets domicile accounts with big limits of between one and five million dollars most times in connivance with insiders in banks across the country. Also recovered from the first stars were cloned websites of the Central Bank of Nigeria, UBA, Union Bank, the International Monetary Fund, and those of American financial institutions, Chase Bank, USAA, and Wells Fargo and Company. I've unraveled circumstances surrounding fake bank documents, corporate body documents, federal high court documents, CBN documents, individual documents, multinational documents that group of syndicates are now printing and circulating to members of the public and multinational onshore, offshore, and this group of persons dwelled in areas of forging these documents and circulating to innocent persons. So retrieved from the suspect's mobile phones were more than 50 audio recordings between the leader of the gang and other gang members, including insiders in the bank. These syndicates are with us now. We are still investigating, but we want to sound a word of notice to the member of the public to be very careful about these syndicates who are now demanding for credit cards and demanding for account numbers. And with the assistance of their collaborators who are insiders in the banks and corporate offices, multinationals, should be very careful. People should keep their identities as secret as possible, and that is why they are called passwords and why they are equally called PIN numbers. And these syndicates are operating generally now within the shores of this country and even outside. And most of them are with us now. We have been able to penetrate into them. They clone domain of people and they clone websites and they continue to operate in the assumption that they are members of the very corporate body that their documents have been cloned. Okoro lamented that the frauds were going on and the banks were not informing the public, the customer and the innocent depositors, saying in one instance a victim was fleeced of one million dollars, which members of the syndicate shared using what they call 40-20 2020 20 formula. We are now investigating most of these areas that are <coughs> in question. We have documents to show members of the public and those of them who their documents are shown should come forward for us to be able to streamline what is really going on. There is serious cyber attack that is going on now. Uh, it's an issue of the high-tech war that is in cyber attack these days. And people should be very careful about that. We equally stumble on those who operated at um, Banana Island in the name of transfer of huge sums of money. We have equally arrested a young man from a union bank in Bayasa who moved millions of money in the name of a transfer and it was found to be a fraudulent transfer. These monies in questions, these millions have been recovered and been handed over to the owners of the said millions. To further develop his officers on effectively combating cyber criminals, the Commission of Police and his main paid a visit to CyberSoc, a lucky based incident response and security service firm with capacity for thorough investigation and deterrence of cyber criminals involving in fraud and identity theft. We have come here this morning to synergize with you and equally to share ideas as it relates to fraud and criminality investigation.
Managing Director of CyberSoc David Dan said every nation is prone to cyber attacks but can be checked. You don't have to be a victim, don't need to sit back and live with the fact that maybe you will be hacked and what's the next problem. You can actually take action and build securities, build processes, build um, knowledge and capacity to address that when it comes. So your risk will always be here, but your ability to remediate will be very much greater. So if something happens, yes, today we have the means and the technologies to address it practically immediately and take a risk that dropping down a bank to something that is almost impossible. So you can hack to the bank, probably yes. To any bank, probably yes. Just a matter of effort. But how long can you continue that hack? No. You can actually block it. You can actually remediate the damage to close to zero. The Inspector General of Police, IGP Ibrahim Idris, MNI, I want to sincerely appreciate you for having your time to educate us on all these issues concerning cyber forensics, investigation, phishing, social engineering, and more so those who dwell in these areas of um, breaking into domains. It's a huge educational process that we'll pass through now. And we want to promise you that we'll keep to tap with you. And we'll keep equally to the areas of you are security and you are intelligence too. That is encompassing the areas of secrecy that bothers much on whatever we are doing. Okay, we are basically investigating issues of crime and criminality and areas of fraud that bothers much in this country. And because of coming around you, we have been able to develop more. Okay, on the educational areas you have given us and the tools. And because we do across the shores of Nigeria, that is onshore and offshore investigation. Now that's that's a good job there. I can't wait for them to be paraded so we could ask them how they were able to, you know, juggle all that. And still in Lagos, the Commissioner of Police, Ed Gali Mohimi, has held his usual weekly press briefing. The arrest of suspected notorious cultists on the 19th of January 2018 at about 0800 hours, a team of anti-cultism policemen led by uh, an officer, Lagbo Ziri, on a tip-off stormed an uncompleted building at Araro area of Ikorodu where a group of boys suspected to be cultists were performing their initiation rites. On getting there, the boys saw the police and naturally ran in different locations. However, the police arrested two of them, named Cheson Onatola, 27 years, and Kende Olushola, 26 years. The following was recovered from these two cultists slash hoodlums. Number one, three pump action rifles. Number two, four live cartridges. Number three, one cutlass. And number four, one iron rod. All of them will be processed for court and diligently prosecuted. I don't know that side fighting is up in that side. Um, they, uh, my guy sent me, or guy we had to work with him. He sent me food to go and buy food for him. On um, my way, call me. That was the money that stopped me to buy something for them. I now give you 500 naira. I give you 500 naira. They now say I should buy a bag of pure water for them. On um, I, I go buy the pure water. On my way, they don't tell me to go and give them people there inside up computer building. On um, my way, going there to go and give them the pure water. I don't know that OPC at, at court is, is around there. To go and give them pure water, all the people they were, were there inside, they start running. I don't know anything. Now they cash only me with um, the, with God. They cash only me? Uh, in, that, in that house, in that house, everybody. No, not be me. 
I tell you, I go give them that uncompleted un building house. On my way going, they start punching all the, all the people who are inside the house. Me, I don't know anything. Then start pass by. I don't know anything happens. They now catch me. Then go inside the house. Then carry all these things come out. They now catch me. Now, I don't know anything about this. So what you are telling us is you are innocent. I know. I know. I'm a brick. I, I'm an innocent. I don't know anything about it. And furthermore. On the 15th of January 2018, at about 1447 hours, the Divisional Police Officer Festac apprehended one Gabriel Godwin male with a locally made pistol cut to size. The DPO responded to a distress call at mile two, where the suspect and another called Hawa were attempting to rob passerbys of a passerby of his motorcycle and on sighting the patrol team fled. The DPO gave hot pursuit and arrested the said Gabriel Godwin with the gun. Snatch bike and um, people force is the what we used to do. How much does the man give you? How much do you get from the robbery? As in if the man if we go and come by he's going to maybe he's going to give me twenty thousand or sometime he's going to give me that. All the, the money that he used to give me, he don't, he don't used to pass that. We used to snatch phone, machine. Uh, yes, yeah, motor. We snatch since we, we are snatch, we don't snatch like two. Two. Along yeah, way Along ground express or my my two, yeah, my two road. And we used to snatch bike, phone. People that you snatched all these things from, have you in any way attacked? No, 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 no. Yes. We don't use to harm them. If they use, if they want to do any gara gara, we are going to leave them. We are we run and leave the property for them. We don't use to, uh, and we don't use to wound them. If they want to claim stubbornness, we will leave everything for them. Go. If police releases you now, will you go back into the city? If police release me, I will go back to my village. I started my I have a I have a I have a hand work. Alumako, I fish Alumako. I used to feed some local. If police release me now, by the grace of God, I will go back to the village and start my work. My name is Gabriel Godwin. I'm 27 years old. We'll end this week with this quote by Maxwell Anderson. All men have crimes and most of them are hidden, end of quote. With that, we've come to the end of this week's episode. Remember, you should play your part in keeping our society crime-free by reporting suspicious activities around you to security agents. Let's do this again, same station, same time. Till then, keep your comments coming to Crime Watch at tvcnews.tv. You can tweet at me at Ivy Cano. Do have a crime-free week.